this will be a kind of fun and sequiny back tickling video. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which I'm sure you've heard. And um, basically my understanding of it is just that some people, not everyone, but a percentage of people respond physically to certain sounds. Um, and they usually produce a sense of relaxation or warmth or even like intimacy or security. ASMR is about bringing all of those little quiet coincidental noises out of the periphery and into the forefront. It's like reverse PTSD, like instead of triggering like negative um, sensations or feelings and like it triggers happy sensations or feelings like maybe from your childhood or something like that. I've experienced ASMR since I was very small. Uh, my mom would tuck me in at night and then she would always whisper in my ear and I remember feeling the tingles and getting like goosebumps up and down my arm and it was just, it would put me to sleep right away. It was very, very comforting. So. My first memory of experiencing ASMR was one of my friends doing my hair for me, coming up behind me and braiding my hair and I was like, oh yeah, I could just like do this forever. It's just like just feeling of relaxation just washes over you. I mean, the cool thing about ASMR is your really only requirement is like, does it sound cool? Because I'm coming from this holistic health coach background where we're really aware not only of how uh, unpleasant being stressed out is, but how detrimental it is to our health. Like you literally cannot heal, you cannot repair, you have no immune system function if you're not sleeping. If you're always in that cortisol response, the fight or flight as they like to call it. Um, not only does that feel really stressful and unpleasant while you're in that state, but it's actually really terrible for us. To me, um, ASMR is mostly, you know, mostly on the side of creating it and making it for people. And it, for me, is a way to like help a lot of people with their stress or anxiety or sleep. Um, but I do suffer from anxiety and depression, and so if I can, you know, help relieve that for somebody, it's, you know, pretty amazing. Uh, I mainly listen to ASMR as a way to go to sleep, uh, but I also use it as like a tool to uh, help combat my anxiety. Uh, if I feel myself start to get anxious or like an attack is coming on, I like to uh, pull up a video and it, the calming, like relaxing sounds that they use, it helps me like soothe the attack and just um, put myself to sleep at the end of the day. Also, I like to play video games competitively and doing that, it can send your anxiety through the roof. So it's a really good way to unwind after all that and to just uh, basically go to sleep after a long night of gaming, so. I think that the most important thing to me is that people recognize that ASMR has a tremendous value. This is not just some fad. This is not just some randomly entertaining thing. This is not just, you know, the weird side of YouTube. This is a real problem that is being addressed through what could be construed as pretty strange videos. ASMR to me means uh, a haven that I know is always going to be peaceful, a community of people who care about each other and want to create content for each other. And I think it's wonderful that people are working to cultivate it and bring more positivity and care into other people's lives, even people they don't know. ASMR is comfort. It's a break from reality, which can be so stressful from work and school and 
just life. To me, it's a hole that I can hide in and just hide from the world. A safe space that I don't have to worry about anything or do anything. And I could just be. Trees are adjusting to the temperatures dropping and the sun setting sooner. Leaves are falling in the greater numbers this time of year. The City of San Marcos and a student group called Bobcat Blend have teamed up to provide a composting program for the accumulated leaves. I talked with Dr. Kate about partnering with their program Bobcat Blend and how we could help them. And one of the things that they get a lot of is the green material for composting, which is all the um, food waste from the cafeterias, and they needed more brown, which would be leaves. And we always have bags of people calling in a bulk pickup for bags of leaves. And I thought it would be best if we didn't put that in the landfill, but we provided that for Bobcat Blend. They can bring their bags to 401 East Hopkins, which is the Grant Harris building. After the leaves have been collected, the Bobcat Blend composting program will turn its attention to Christmas trees that are discarded after the holidays. So starting December 26th, they will put a cage out here and any live Christmas trees without tinsel or lights or ornaments can be brought here. It'll be here until the Friday before the second Saturday in January. The composting collection program will continue until November 15th. For Bobcat Update, I'm Brian Marias. Located at the headwaters of the San Marcos River, the outdoor center at Sewell Park is unique. Its mission is to provide the Texas State community with education, recreation, and adventure, all in an outdoor setting. The center provides tube and boat rentals. There's also the university camp in Wimberley. You can rent camping equipment here and then rent a campsite from us and then go out there and spend the weekend with your friends. It's only 20 minutes away. It's Texas State's little secret treasure that they have. The outdoor center also organizes hikes at Enchanted Rock State Park, canoeing at Big Bend National Park, and a backpacking trip in Hawaii. I just like want people to like come together and have fun. That's like the ultimate goal because like it's pretty hard to not have fun when you're outside doing something fun with random people. Lexi Hogan, a therapeutic rec major at Texas State, says being outdoors can be extremely beneficial to one's mental health. So going outside is healing. You know, it takes away like, you know, stress and worry from your everyday lives. It gives you kind of something else to worry about and just think about. Texas State and San Marcos are rich in resources for outdoor enthusiasts. So come outside and enjoy the beautiful San Marcos River. If you have any other questions about the Outdoor Center, you can follow them on Instagram at TXSTREC. For Bobcat Update, I'm Haley Ray.